Today we're going to look at database-driven websites. With a database-driven website, there are a lot of functions that you can have within that website. For example, we'll look at America's Hottest right now. This is a database-driven website that we created where you can, uh, it's a social networking site, so people can vote for the hottest band or they can vote for uh, or enter a contest and so it's got all kinds of hot categories that you could vote for. You can also buy tickets online so it is actually an e-commerce website and a database website at the same time. Now we'll look at another example of a database driven website and how the database is used in different ways depending on the website. So this is Avanti Skilled Nursing and Rehabilitation. They have locations around the country and one of the most important things for them was that they do add new locations all the time so they wanted to be able to do that on their own in the database without paying a programmer to do it for them but the most important thing was the career section so if you're looking for a new career here you can find all of the places where careers are available so we could look at Boca Raton Florida and we see all of the positions that are available and one thing we made really easy in the admin of the website, now this is the part the public sees, but in the admin of the website, the description and all of the information for the LPN or RN, that information never changes. How you describe an LPN just doesn't change. It's always the same. So in the admin, they just select LPN and it provides the description for them. The, the hours are always set so they select from Monday through Friday or weekend only and so it fills in the blanks for them all from a drop down menu then the job applicant can apply online by filling out this form and it will go directly to the administrator of that particular city so that was an important feature for them and the only way you can do that is with a database driven website then we'll take a look at another one this is the website we made for the South Florida Business Group and what the South Florida Business Group does is they want to attract business owners who are relocating to Miami-Dade, Broward, and Palm Beach County. So they have a database-driven website. You can read about member benefits, the board of directors, the members, and so on. And you can also change the language. So if you wanted to view this website in a different language, you select from the drop-down menu the language you want and uh, everything changes so now you're reading it in Spanish I'm gonna go back to English and so that's what this website does and from the admin they can control who's a member who isn't a member they can email groups of people so it, it's easy to do with a database website and it's the only way you can do it now this is a website we made for a newspaper the Miami Herald and on this website it's their customer loyalty program website or their um, uh, rewards website so on here we have different things like these ads up here and if you click on those ads then the Miami Herald makes money on those ads the ads are provided by Yahoo I believe and then over here we have contests so you can click to enter a contest and you can do that without even being a subscriber because that's something that was important to them because otherwise it's like a unofficial lottery or, or something so they're not able to do that once you log into the website there's coupons and all kinds of things and the website administrator at the Herald is able to update this website very easily from a super simple easy to use admin they can also email um, thousands of subscribers from the admin of their website and so it, it's a website with a lot of functions for them now one of the favorite features that is being able to email groups of people so here we're going to look at that we've got users these are people who filled out a form on the website now they're added to a group so if you fill out the free price quote uh, form then you're added to a group called free price quote or if maybe uh, let's see I was at the Beacon Council I met some people I add them to my database in a group called Beacon Council so now I can email the Beacon Council group separately from people I met at the chamber breakfast and then we have newsletters here so I'm going to take a look at a newsletter that I sent to the Hollywood Chamber and here the newsletter has this graphic which is embedded you could click any of these buttons and it would go directly to that specific page of the website 
we put in hi f name and it's going to drop in the person's first name so whether we've got 10 people in our database or 10,000 or whatever the number is everyone will see their first name appear in this field and here I put as I'm out meeting new clients I'll always think of ways that I can refer them to company and it's going to drop in their company name so they're going, going to think well that was so nice they wrote just to me and another feature this is the best part is that we can fully automate this so here we've entered zero days so that means as soon as you fill out the form on the website you're getting this email but we could have put in there 10 days 20 days 100 days 900 days we could put in we could make up five or ten different emails or 20 or 50 emails whatever number we want and have them go out on a schedule just by changing the number of days here so I could say email number one goes out immediately zero days email number two I'm gonna have that go in seven days email number three I'm gonna make that one go in 20 days and each email would be a different email with different information here and so what we would do is we'd subscribe someone like a we'd subscribe a group and we would say this email is for the Fort Lauderdale Chamber Trustees and this is email number one so or number two let's say so we want it to go out in 20 days so that is one of the favorite features of a database driven website we also like to build this into our e-commerce website so that after someone makes a purchase the website is automatically following up on them so you don't even have to think about it so those are the main features and reasons why people like database-driven websites.